Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is episode number 15, and this is WWE Main Event. And boy, do we have an actual main event lined up for you tonight. Because the men's Money in the Bank qualifying matches will continue as the field of six continues to grow. Later on this evening, we will see the Destroyer, the Samoan Submission Machine, Samoa Joe, take on the King, Shinsuke Nakamura. An old rivalry gets renewed with a Money in the Bank spot hanging in the balance between these two men later tonight. But we kick things off tonight with the World Tag Team Champions of the WWE. Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, in action for the very first time since the Backlash pay-per-view a couple of weeks ago. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 552 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. And speaking of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news. The Viking Raiders will defend the World Tag Team Championships on pay-per-view against Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. Those two men earning a victory over the Viking Raiders weeks before the Backlash pay-per-view. The Viking Raiders went through backlash. They retained the World Tag Team Championships over Randy Orton and Matt Riddle on that night. But now, the next challenge lies ahead. Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan, they earned an opportunity against Eric and Ivar, and the two teams will meet at the Money in the Bank event. And still to come tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we will have more news regarding the Money in the Bank pay-per-view as we will find out the WWE Championship match on that night as well. I cannot wait to see what the WWE Championship match is going to be. That is going to be officially revealed after this contest, ladies and gentlemen. But as for what we got on hand, the Viking Raiders taking on Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy, here to kick us off on WWE Main Event. We talked about how Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan earned a victory over the Viking Raiders a couple of weeks back. That is the reason they will step inside the ring with Eric and Ivar once more at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view with the WWE Tag Team Championships of the World on the line. So Chad Gable and Otis with an opportunity at hand here tonight. A win over the Viking Raiders could definitely put them in line for a future World Tag Team Championship opportunity. Whether that's against the Viking Raiders or possibly Danny Burch and Ernie Lorcan, depending on who walks out of Money in the Bank holding the gold. But here we go here, Eric and Chad Gable kicking us off in our opening contest. And as we mentioned, still to come tonight, Samoa Joe takes on Shinsuke Nakamura inside that very squared circle with a spot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match on the line. As Eric looking to put away Chad Gable here, but the two big men, you gotta watch Otis, and you gotta watch Ivar, the two behemoths of their team, going at each other. Chad Gable, look at this, pinfall. We were distracted there between the two big men. He tried going for the pinfall there. I think the referee was a little out of position. Eric now back into the fight. It takes down Chad Gable. Nice maneuver. String maneuvers, I should say, there by Eric. And as we mentioned, Eric and Ivar retaining the World Tag Team Championship. So wait a minute. We could have a victory here for the Viking Raiders. Chad Gable gets the shoulder up. But as we mentioned, Eric and Ivar retaining the World Tag Team Championships. The last time we saw them inside of that ring at Backlash over Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, RK Bro. It was a rematch of when the Viking Raiders and Ogilvy won the Tag Team Championships over a month ago on Monday Night Raw. But Chad Gable, look at that, trying to put Eric away there. Not enough, but that was a beautiful belly to belly by Gable. We know how talented he is inside that squared circle. He knows how to get it done. Can he get the job done for himself as well as Otis here tonight? And he comes off the second rope with that clothesline. As we mentioned, a win for Alpha Academy could definitely put them in contention for the World Tag Team Championships, possibly after Money in the Bank. 
as Gable is looking to string together a couple of suplexes here. He nails two. He hits the third. Beautiful maneuvers by Gable as he goes into the cover on Eric. But here's Ivar in to break up the count. And that may have been all there had Ivar not been so close able to break up that pinfall. Chad Gable looking to continue the work on Eric. A great tag team matchup we got to kick us off this evening. A great main event still to come. The action has truly been picking up inside the squared circle as of late. If you missed the Backlash pay-per-view, go check it out. If you missed any of the Rawls and main events as of late, go check them out as well as we are on the road to Money in the Bank, which is already shaping up to be a very exciting event as Ivar and Otis are in the ring. And Ivar with that discus leg, I guess you could say leg lariat, Take it out, Otis. Now he's got the big man on his shoulders. And just snake eyes him in the corner. The two beasts of their team going at it. Otis getting sent for a ride. Eats the canvas right to his back. Ivar into the cover now. I'm not sure if that's going to do it. Otis almost got put away there. It was a very close call for the Alpha Academy. Ivar going to attack Eric back into the fray. And I'm sure Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch got their eyes on the World Tag Team Champions. Remember it was last week here on Main Event that Oni Lorcan picked up a singles victory over Drew Gulak. And of course they beat Eric and Ivar in the recent history as well. They got the number of the World Tag Team Champions. They're going to look to keep scouting, keep training, keep getting better. And look to get it done once more when the championships are on the line at Money in the Bank in Philadelphia in a couple of weeks time as Ivar takes down Otis and that could be all for the Alpha Academy with Chad Gable barely getting in to break up the count but here's Eric things are going to start breaking down here referee's got to watch everybody Ivar out of the apron but Otis able to cut him off before Ivar had any intention I'm not sure what he was going for there but Otis cuts him off and now takes the momentum back in control for the Alpha Academy Sends the big man into the corner. Oh, it looks like Otis may have been running at him for maybe a, a big time splash there, but the impact sent Ivar to the ground. Meanwhile, Otis press slam to Ivar in the middle of the ring. That could be all. Alpha Academy looking to beat the World Tag Team Champions. He almost had him, but Ivar getting the shoulder up. Man, what a win it would be for Alpha Academy putting their name in the hat for a future World Tag Team Championship matchup. Ivar's dazed and confused in the corner. Otis needs to stay on the offense. There's the big time splash. Meanwhile, Eric and Chad Gable, well, they were going at it at ringside. Eric finally getting back to the ring apron. As Otis continues the fight to Ivar. He's got him in a predicament here. Will he be able to put this match away for himself as well as Chad Gable? Gable up and back into the corner. Otis sends him in, but Ivar just cuts him off with the shoulder block. Two big men going at it. Certainly got the strength and size both to their advantage as Ivar once again snake eyes Otis is into the corner. And now follows it up. He went to the well with this earlier. It paid him dividends. Ivar goes back to what works. We're going to keep the offense going. He's going to tag in the fresher man, Eric. Smart tag team maneuver from the, your world tag team champions, the Viking Raiders. It looked great as of late. Oh, look at this. Eric! Big time maneuver to Otis. That is the same kick that put Riddle away at Backlash. And that is going to do it. The Viking Raiders picking up the victory here tonight on WWE Main Event. That is the same maneuver that Eric used to pin Matt Riddle inside of the squared circle a couple of weeks ago at Backlash to retain the World Tag Team Championships. Eric going back to one of his striking maneuvers inside of that ring and it gets the job done for himself as well as Ivar and the World Tag Team Champions get the victory here tonight. The champs continuing to build momentum. Here are your winners, Ivar and Eric the Viking Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan got a date with destiny between Eric and Ivar for the World Tag Team titles at Money in the Bank. They better be ready. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we told you we were going to have news regarding AJ Styles' next challenger for the WWE Championship in Philadelphia at Money in the Bank. The next time we come your way on pay-per-view, who is it going to be challenging AJ Styles? Let's find out right now.
Oh man, AJ Styles, not one, but two challengers lined up for the phenomenal one. A triple threat match between AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and Jeff Hardy has been signed for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. What a match that is going to be. Come your way at Money in the Bank. I was expecting one, but not two challengers. And I'm sure AJ Styles is surprised himself as well. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. I cannot wait to see how AJ Styles reacts to not one but two challengers coming his way at Money in the Bank. Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy, two men who have been at each other's throats for weeks, now going to be inside the ring again with the stakes even higher with AJ Styles defending the WWE Championship. That is going to be a huge triple threat match coming your way at Backlash. Or excuse me, coming your way at Money in the Bank. But speaking of Money in the Bank, we continue on here tonight with a women's Money in the Bank match qualifier. Mickey James a decorated champion, a legend of women's wrestling, looking to punch her ticket to the ladder match in a couple of weeks' time. But her opponent, a former NXT Women's Champion, now here on the main roster, we're seeing her for the first time, Io Shirai. And from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai. Io Shirai, one of the most impressive women in all of the WWE, a former NXT Women's Champion, a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, someone very, very highly praised by the WWE Universe. Now here on the main roster for the very first time, getting a huge opportunity against the legendary woman herself, Mickie James, with a spot in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match on the line. What it would mean for Io Shirai to not only enter that match, but to possibly pull down the contract and eventually have herself a chance at the WWE Women's Championship. That would be huge for her career, but it would also be huge for the career for Mickey James at this point in her legendary career to have another shot at the championship gold. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Women's Money in the Bank match qualifier right here, right now. Io Shirai versus Mickey James. Your first of two Money in the Bank matches... Money back qualifying matches, excuse me, coming your way tonight. As of course, in moments, we will see the men's Money in the Bank match qualifier between Samoa Joe and Shinsuke Nakamura. That is going to be an epic main event right here on main event as Io Shirai and Mickey James inside the squared circle as we speak. Mickey taking the fight to Io Shirai. It's a nice DDT there. She's headed to the top rope. She's coming with the offense early. Mickey James knows what kind of competitor Io Shirai is in that ring. She's trying to put her away with some high offense early. Drops the leg from the top rope. Didn't get all of it. I don't believe it's exactly how Mickey James wanted to connect with that maneuver, but she definitely still took Io Shirai off her feet enough to at least keep the momentum in her corner for a moment. Mickey James keeping the offense going, but there's Io Shirai. Nice drop kick to the veteran Mickey James. And Mickey James right there with the counter. I expect this to be as it's been thus far. A fast-paced, high-offense matchup between two exciting competitors in our women's division as Io Shirai. What a kick to Mickey James. That is some of the great innovative offense from Io Shirai in the ring. Meanwhile, check that out. Double stomp from Io. And follows it up with another drop kick. So fast, so exciting, so innovative is Io Shirai inside of that ring. Now Mickey James back into the offense here. Io charges at her, but Mickey able to counter. Look at this. Her Rana takes Io off her feet. And Mickey continues to fight. Who is going to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match? Could be Mickey James. Io able to get the shoulder up just in the nick of time. What a great matchup we are having since the opening bell. Just a few short minutes ago, these women have been going at each other since the get-go here. And Io Shirai follows it up with another spinning heel kick. Mickey taking off her feet momentarily, but now Io Shirai has got the arms hooked. Lays Mickey James out. Into the cover goes Io. She could be looking to put this match away already, but Mickey gets the shoulder up. 
Man, no waste in motion. No rest for the weary in this contest. These women going at each other in the blades of glory. Yeah, going on the second row. Mickey James a little bit dazed here, but yeah, watch this springboard. What a maneuver from Io Shirai. Springs up from the middle rope to the top rope and hits a crossbody. Mickey may be out of it. Io Shirai face plants Mickey James into the Koji clutch. Is Mickey going to tap out here? Is Io going to Money in the Bank? Mickey's struggling to hold on. Io Shirai's got it locked in tight. I don't know if Mickey's going to be able to get out of this here or Io. Oh no, Mickey able to, to break the hold at the last second. Which one of these women is going to join the field so far? So far we have seen Asuka qualify for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. We've seen Shayna Baszler qualify. Shotzi qualified this past week on Raw. Who's going to be the fourth woman, fourth woman to join that fray so far? Collar and elbow here. Io shoots her off. No, pulls her back into the Hurricane Rana. Mickey James, East Canvas, Io Shirai. Look how fast she got up to the top rope there. Beautiful elbow drop. Io Shirai using her high fly abilities to her advantage. She's going back up to the top rope. And look at this, the signature root salt from Io Shirai. Hits it flush from the top. Io Shirai has qualified for the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Man, an exciting matchup. Fast pace since the get-go. And Io Shirai, in her first appearance here on the main roster, officially punches her ticket to the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. She joins Shayna Baszler, Asuka, and Shotzi so far. Four of the six women have been confirmed for that ladder matchup at Money in the Bank. And a sign of respect between the veteran Mickey James and Io Shirai. You love to see it as Io Shirai gets an impressive victory here tonight on WWE Main Event. Well, coming up on Monday Night Raw, in the next episode of Universe Mode, we're going to have ourselves a one-on-one -on -one contest between Isaiah Swerve Scott and the one and only Ricochet. The winner is going to be next to challenge for Santos Escobar's Cruiserweight Championship of the World. And also on Raw, it'll be the final Money in the Bank qualifying matchup as the almighty Bobby Lashley takes on Matt Riddle one-on-one -on -one in the main event. Lashley's first in-ring action since losing the WWE Championship at Backlash, how will he respond and will he be able to fight back against Matt Riddle? As we get set for our main event, it's a Money in the Bank qualifier. Samoa Joe takes on Shinsuke Nakamura. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California. Weighing in at 282 pounds. Bobby Lashley and Riddle will go one-on-one -on -one in the main event of Monday Night Raw, which will be the final Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. But there will be one more. Two more spots left after Samoa Joe or Shinsuke Nakamura qualifies tonight. A surprise Money in the Bank qualifier will open up Monday Night Raw this coming week. So far qualified for the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. The Rated R Superstar Edge, The Archer, Damian Priest, and Mustafa Ali. Three of the six have been confirmed. Who is going to join them up next? Will it be that man, the Samoan Submission Machine, the Destroyer, Samoa Joe? Or will it be the former Intercontinental Champion, the King, Shinsuke Nakamura? An old rivalry from NXT. Getting renewed right here tonight. And the stakes couldn't be any higher. Nakamura making his first appearance since losing the Intercontinental Championship at Backlash. You know he's going to be looking to come out of Blades of Glory tonight and bounce back from that loss a couple of weeks ago and qualify for the ladder match in a couple of weeks' time. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Key Nakamura! As we mentioned, the decorated history between Shinsuke Nakamura and Samoa Joe trading back the Intercontinental, or excuse me, trading back the NXT Championship several times back in 2016. These two men have gone to war before inside of the squared circle. 
And they look to do so yet again tonight. This time, no championships on the line, but a spot in the Money in the Bank matchup where you can win and receive a future WWE Championship match at any time, at any place, up to one year. So who will join Damian Priest, Mustafa Ali, and Edge as the fourth man of six in the Money in the Bank matchup? This is a many, or excuse me, Money in the Bank match qualifier here tonight on Main Event. I'm hyped up, I can't even speak. Let's get to the in-ring action, Samoa Joe and Shinsuke Nakamura. As Joe immediately takes over Nakamura. Nice kick there. I'm sure this is going to be a hard-hitting affair between these two men inside of the ring. And as we mentioned, two men's Money in the Bank qualifiers coming up on Monday Night Raw. We'll have a surprise matchup that will kick off Raw. As well as the final one, which will be the main event. Bobby Lashley and Matt Riddle. By the time we get to the end of next week's Raw, we will have your field of six complete. For the Money in the Bank ladder match. I can't wait to see who it's going to be. Mojo goes for the super kick. Nakamura dodges. And look at this. Beautiful German suplex. Able to get the big man over early. Nice move by Nakamura. Able to snap the hips fast and get Samoa Joe off his feet. But Joe, one tough SOB in that ring. He's coming off a couple of losses. The last few times we've seen him. Beautiful backstabber from Nakamura. But as we mentioned, the last few times we've seen Samoa Joe in this ring, he was handed a loss by Sheamus here on WWE Main Event, which was actually a number one contenders matchup for the Intercontinental Championship, which the match that Sheamus won that led him on to fight Shinsuke Nakamura at Backlash, which he then won the Intercontinental Championship. That's Samoa Joe losing that number one contenders matchup. And then the last time we saw Samoa Joe was the final roll before Backlash. And Samoa Joe took a loss to then WWE Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. So Samoa Joe looking to get back in the winning ways here tonight and build some momentum for himself. And he could certainly do so if he qualifies for Money in the Bank. Because he's got Nakamura up, but he takes him down to the map below. Went for the cover there, but Nakamura right there by the ropes. Able to get the rope break, even unintentionally that time. Able to save his contest here. Samoa Joe takes Nakamura over. Beautiful slam. Nakamura goes down. Samoa Joe looking to put this thing away early. Nakamura gets the shoulder up a two. Shoulder up at one, excuse me. Samoa Joe definitely will look to beat down the former Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura. A great opportunity lies ahead for either of these men if they are able to score the victory here tonight. Look at that beautiful maneuver. Samoa Joe tying up Nakamura and once again grounded and pounding. Samoa Joe sending Nakamura on a couple of rides here just making him eat canvas over and over again. Beautiful elbow by the big man. Fouls it up with another one. Samoa Joe in clear control in this contest right now. Fighting his style of fight. Inside of the ring here on main event. And Joe delivers the super kick. He went for that a couple of times in this match. It didn't deliver. This time it does. He's into the cover. Nakamura able to get his shoulder off the mat though. Samoa Joe's got to stay on the offense here. Can't let Nakamura refresh himself after the Flurry of offense from Samoa Joe. Sends him to the corner and Nakamura just goes down. Eating those turnbuckles right to the spine. Sends Nakamura again and Nakamura goes down. Samoa Joe is just beating the hell out of Shinsuke Nakamura in this contest. As Nakamura feeling a sense of urgency here. Looking to fight back. Look at this. Saito suplex on the big man. Able to get Samoa Joe off his feet. Nakamura trying to fight back as Samoa Joe's controlled the last couple of minutes. Sends Samoa Joe into the ropes. Joey able to stop himself here, but Nakamura's right there. And Nakamura just spearing Samoa Joe down. Uncharacteristic from Nakamura. But you gotta get the big man off his feet one way or another. And he chops down Samoa Joe. Looking to deliver a couple of kicks. How many kicks is Nakamura gonna deliver? One, a bunch to the chest and one to the head as well. That may be the knockout blow. Nakamura may have found what he needs to do to win, but Samoa Joe gets the shoulder up. Nakamura fighting back on the destroyer, Samoa Joe. Joe's dazed and confused. Nakamura could be looking for Kinshasa, but Joe able to drop toe hold him and hits him with a big boot. 
Joe now feeling the sense of urgency over Nakamura. Nice forearm. Sends Nakamura. Oh, Nakamura goes flying over the top rope and down to the mat. Joe was controlling the first couple of minutes. Nakamura fought back. Almost had Samoa Joe beat there. Now you see the sense of urgency out of Samoa Joe to start really putting away Nakamura on the outside with a goddamn power bomb right on the floor. And what is Samoa Joe doing? He's taking apart our table here, but Nakamura trying to avoid any disaster. Samoa Joe will do any means necessary to qualify for the Money in the Bank matchup as Nakamura able to snap the hips again and take Samoa Joe off his feet with the German and delivers a knee to follow it up. The brawl has been taken right out here to ringside and Nakamura tying up Samoa Joe in a submission. We talk about it all the time. You can't finish your opponent out there. You could certainly do more damage. Joe able to fight out of it and hits the big boot. The brawl has certainly ensued in this contest between Nakamura and Samoa Joe. Joe goes behind. Delivers the forearm, sends Nakamura right into the turnbuckles yet again. This has been a fight between these two strong style heavy hitting competitors inside of the ring. As Nakamura got Samoa Joe in a fireman's carry position. Look at that. How the hell was he able to get Samoa Joe up and over and send him down to the canvas below? Nakamura reaching to a new gear here tonight. By any means necessary is the motive to qualify for Money in the Bank. Nakamura may have Samoa Joe in trouble. You see he's really wrenching in the offense here. Delivers an elbow right to the cranium of the big man. Nakamura going to the top rope. Samoa Joe is down on the map below, dazed and confused. He's trying to get to his feet, but he's on spaghetti legs. Nakamura from the top, went for the double knees, but Samoa Joe sidestepped him, and Nakamura's knees ate the canvas. Nice overhand chop by the Destroyer, and delivers another super kick. And Nakamura may be in trouble after crashing and burning off that Meteor from the top rope. Now Samoa Joe, and then Nakamura's back into it. Let's look at it here. Suplex. How the hell again is able to get the big man up? Nakamura showing some strength in this contest. He's able to get Samoa Joe off his feet. Joe's trying to fight back, but Nakamura's right there. Joe counters. Back and forth with Yo here with the momentum. Look at that off the ropes. Delivering a couple of elbows. You can just smell the sense of urgency between these two men at the moment. As Samoa Joe is scouting Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, look at this. He's got the choke cold in on Shinsuke Nakamura. Joe drops with it. Nakamura is in deep, deep trouble here. Samoa Joe's wrenching it in. Nakamura taps out. A valiant effort by the king. But in the end, Samoa Joe able to get the victory he was searching for. Tap it out, Shinsuke Nakamura here on main event. Samoa Joe picks up the win. And there you have your updated field for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Samoa Joe joins Priest, Edge, and Mustafa Ali when the ladders and the briefcase is on the line. Nakamura showing his respect for the man he defeated or was defeated by inside of the ring here tonight. Samoa Joe picks up the victory here tonight on main event. A great night of action. The Money in the Bank qualifying matches continue on your next episode of Monday Night Raw. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we will see you for Universe Mode, Episode 16, for Monday Night Raw. I just wanna be great. Yeah. I just wanna be great.